welcome guys back to another tutorial this time we're going to go over how to install Cloudflare DDNS and a reverse proxy using Caddy without anything else included so basically what we're going to do is we're going to first need to get a couple of things and I have a written tutorial about this on my wiki uh, on github if you would like to look at it first what we need to do is we need to go to this um, github page which I'll link in the description and we need to get this uh, binary so we click on the releases and we're gonna grab our Windows binary so it's gonna be the Windows AMD 64 uh, we'll click on that and click download okay, now that that's downloaded we can open it up it's in our downloads so the downloads we go to um, let me see what it's called my Cloudflare All right, here's Cloudflare DDNS we're gonna extract or copy or extract it from the zip to a directory. I recommend you follow my other tutorials, put it in a C drive, tools, and then put that into a directory called Cloudflare DDNS. Once that's done, uh, we need to do two other things. We need to go into Cloudflare, and we need to go to um, second. Okay. So once that's done, we need to get our DNS key. So to do this, I'm sorry, our API key. So to do this, we go to overview, and we're gonna go all the way down to see get your API key, and we're gonna create a new token, and I'm just gonna, we're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom, see create a custom token. We name this cloud Flare DDNS. We wanna do zone, zone, read. We're gonna add another one, we're gonna do zone, DNS this time edit okay and you can scroll the bottom and just click continue click create copy this key I'm not worried about it being show because I'm gonna remove it but just so you know and then we're gonna copy it to a wordpad so I'm gonna link the code in the description but essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna want to bring up this wordpad and we're gonna run this binary in a uh, terminal to make sure it works. So we do dot cloudflare ddns dash dash token and then your API key and then the domain you want to use. So let's say mine's home.devilsdesigns.net. So if that's the IP or the DNS I'm using, I need to make a DNS for that. So we go into um, my DNS and your domain is devilsdesigns.net. We're going to add a record, add an A name, and we're going to type in our DNS, so or our um, domain, which is home, and then we can do an at sign here. Click save. So here's where you want to actually put your IP. So I'm going to block mine out, but you can find this by going to IP Chicken if you want to know what it is. Here's my IP, and you only have to do this once. Once you do this, it'll auto update every time. So once I have that, I click save. Okay, now I have an A name that's considered home.devilsdesigns.net. Now that's my domain name. Now I go into my um, terminal and I'm going to go into the directory I had it. So CD, if you put it like mine, tools, Cloudflare, DDNS. And if I ls. I have that Cloudflare DDNS I extracted to that directory, same one that's in here. And now I go and run that command. So that command I have in Notepad or a WordPad. Copy all this, paste it. Hold on a second. Okay, I actually misspelled my command. I'll make sure I update this, but it's going to be dot forward slash Cloudflare DDNS dash dash token your token that we just got from our API key then dash dash domain your domain click run and there we go now it run and it'll run out while it's set up now if you want to do an automatic I'll list this dot bat in the description but if you want to learn how to make it yourself you just click on um, run and search run in your windows and then you want to find shell startup so if you go to type in shell colon startup it'll bring you to startup folder you can create a new document called cloudflare.bat. So I'm just going to do that for preference. I'm going to show you how to do it. We'll name it cloudflare DDNS1. 
You can just name it DDNS. I'm just doing this for purposes of myself because I already have one name. Right click it, click um, edit. So we're gonna click on show more options, edit. If you're on Windows 10, it'll just show edit. And we're gonna add a piece of code. Next thing you wanna do is go into your caddy, which is running here, I think. Let's see, cd dot dot. And I'm gonna go to my caddy directory, which is, I've already shown how to set up caddy. You can view one of my other videos for that. And I'm gonna re-edit this to be home dot So let's say, for example, I have a WordPress. So we go into um, my caddy file, which is right here. There's my caddy file. As you see, I have home.devilsdesigns.net. My WordPress is pointing there. And I have all that command. I'll put this, uh, this is in my wiki and my GitHub repo. It'll show how to, this is how to install WordPress using Cloudflare DDNS and not having to use caddy as the sole reverse proxy. If you have a dynamic IP, basically this is what it's set up for. So next we're gonna go into here, we're gonna run caddy run. Hold on, let me pause my caddy install. And then to show I have no saved certificates, I'm gonna remove my um, folder directories. So here we have, um, the, if you ever wanna find your caddy like certificates, it's going to C, user, your user, app data roaming, and then caddy. And that'll pull that. So I have nothing in here, so now I'm gonna run that command again. Caddy, uh, I'm gonna do dot forward slash caddy run dash dash config dash, or I'm sorry, uh, caddy file. That's gonna run my caddy certificate. And we gotta validate home dot it. Oh, that's the wrong one. I forgot to save it. Hold on one second. So let's try that again. Now that I've saved my caddy file, I'm running it now. It's authorizing my devilsdesigns.net. Let's see if it'll load. And there you go. It's gonna look kind of messed up right now because I'm not on my um, I'm not on my regular domain. But this is gonna be WordPress. So if I go to my regular domain, I'll show you what that looks like. So just a quick note: if you ever get errors like this where it's having issues performing the API. Like I said before, if you go to your um, go to your C tools, I'm sorry, not your C tools, your um, your username under your C drive, and then app data roaming caddy and delete that config. I'll put the directory in there. Delete all those certificates. It should run again. So let's see if I'm gonna run again on my domain. So as you can see, now that if I go to home.ittechnut.com, which is the same for Devil's Designs, it'll load my web page for my WordPress. And I can even go on the admin panel with dash w admin, WP admin, and in my admin panel. The reason you can't use a tunnel for this is for two main reasons. Because redirecting to your WordPress admin actually won't work. So this is the only way to load a WordPress through a tunnel on Cloudflare. Everything will be in the description that you need, including the last tutorials we use for these. And if you guys have any questions, comments, please leave them in the description or uh, uh, on the video, and I'll try to get back to you guys as soon and as possible quick as possible. Thanks guys. Please comment, rate, subscribe and have a great rest of your day.